All right, people, here is the deck profile for Chemical Beasts. This is the last deck profile that we are doing for a month because, of course, we switch decks next month from, uh, it would be September, October, October to November, and then that'll be it. That'll be it. Daily Duels will be over by then. So uh, we got a couple more of these, but uh, none of the decks from the previous months got another month's rip. So uh, I had to do five deck profiles this month. And of course, if you haven't seen already, the Daily Duels, uh, the deck that will be replaced. And this was just Ancient Gear. So if you haven't seen that already, be sure to as well. So here we go. Deck profile for Chemical Beasts. This deck was... I feel like it could have been better if my luck was better. Like, it just seemed like I would never get my spark fill. And when I did get my spark fill, I get too many spark fills, you know? But spark fill is definitely important. Like, without spark fill, it's just a shitty Gemini deck. And I'm sorry, but Geminis are not great. They're really slow. You know, you gotta use, you gotta summon them and then use your normal summon, your precious one normal summon. Like, that, that's the that's the equivalent of summoning a Skull Crowbat Joker and searching for that monkey board. Oh, oh, Ray. Monkey Boy's banned. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously. Uh, it, it's kind of slow, so you really need to spark fill. It's really important. It's a really great fill spell for uh, Chemical Beasts and just Gemini monsters in general, you know? But uh, sometimes I wouldn't get it, and then when I got it, it got too many, and it was cloggy, so... But I'd rather have it than not have it. That's all I have to say about that. So, it really, it's a really aggressive deck. There's no back row. I, as I was working on the deck, I slowly started taking up the back row. I was like, I need this card. This card's important. This card's important. This card's important. So, in the end, let me go ahead and give you guys this deck profile. So, we start off, of course, we play... Uh, triple of uh, Dioxin. He's a 28 beater. Great. Uh, his Gemini effect's pretty good, too. You can uh, banish a Gemini monster, target a card, your opponent controls, pop it. So, overall, just a great monster, and one of the key monsters that you're going to use to go into your arcade plays. Then, uh, I, I'm not, like I said, I was probably, I'm not saying I was the first one to do this, but I didn't see anybody else doing it with Chemical Beast, but we run triple Malefic Stardust Dragon. Uh, not only does it protect your spark field, which is very important, um, it is level 8, so you can do some rank 8 plays, but as well as uh, being the attacker once you banish your Chemical Beast to move out of the way. There's been a handful of times where I'll activate spark field, summon my crab, get my effect, search with my crab, spark field, banish, till, you know, I believe the end of your opponent's turn, I believe that's when it comes back. Uh, you can target a card, banish it, uh, Gemini Tree, to, if you do, to your opponent's end phase. So yeah, come back during your opponent's end phase. And, you know, I use my normal summon, I pop it in your card, that's great, but what, what am I gonna do now? Oh, right. You know, banish a uh, Stardust Dragon, Special Summon Malefic Stardust Dragon. Now I have a 2500 monster who's poking you, and then you can't really handle my Gemini monster because it comes back during your end phase. Use my normal summon for my effect, get my effect, get to search, banish, pop, tack, so. Yeah, it's kind of a little loud. Uh, now, I can see why you don't want to run it, because it can get a little cloggy, because you got to run three of these, and you got to run this, and then this takes up a lot of room in your extra deck, and, you know, there's some cards that I definitely like to run in my extra deck, but I just don't have room, but uh, rip on that. But overall, great. I'd say, I'd say Malefic Stardust is good. It's just, you know, if I don't have my fill spell, then rip. But, I mean, it can't go any harder than triple terraforming and triple my spark fit without running Planet Pathfinder. I ain't running him, you know. It's bad enough that I gotta use my normal summon for the Gemini monsters, let alone pa Planet Pathfinder. So, rip on that. My luck is just terrible. Um, I ran two Darkstorm Dragons. Uh, I ran this over my other Chemical Beast, the other level 8. At first I was running him, but then I took him out because I didn't like him. And then a lot of these, like, this is just like summon a Gemini monster. So I was like, you know what? We got my field spell that if I have multiples I can get rid of, you know, Harpy Feather Dust You. I got Brilliant Fusion just sitting here not doing things, so Harpy Feather Dust Your Ass. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with two uh, Dark Storm Dragons over my two of the other Chemical Beast Water ones. And of course, we got triple trade in, so, you know, you're a trading target, you're a trading target, you're a trading target, so we got plenty of trading targets, so. Uh, we're on triple grab. He's the searcher, you know, uh, and he's uh, he's not only your searcher, but we also have a way to search your searcher. So that's pretty good. Uh, I saw that from Lithium, and I was like, you know, that's a pretty good plan. Uh, I'll go more in detail about that when we get to the Brilliant Fusion. But yeah, uh, you can send a Gemini monster and then add a Gemini monster. So it's really great. So you can like send this to the graveyard and then maybe revive it, or you can send this to the graveyard and then you can add like this and then this can summon like this or this. So it's really combo centric, like it really is. Then we got triple uh, ox. So uh, during your main phase, special summon a Gemini monster from your hand, and then all the levels of all Gemini monsters you control become that monster's level that was summoned. So there's been a handful of times where I already have a crab from the previous turn, summon Ox, Ox will summon like, you know, Darkstorm Dragon, which is good because if it had to be Chemical Beast, then we definitely run the other Chemical Beast over Darkstorm, but because it's just a Gemini, we can summon Gemini, uh, we can summon Darkstorm Dragon, or summon Ox. Everybody's an 8 now, so instead of, you know, XCing with like this and this, it could be like this or this, you know, we have a whole bunch of 8s and the Mercate Pillies, they're strong, they're pretty strong, so. 
we run two uh, Lazuli. It is our gem knight for our uh, Brilliant Fusion. And uh, there's a play with this, like I said, it's pretty cute. So you activate Brilliant Fusion. So we'll, let's go ahead and talk about Brilliant Fusion a little bit because these cards are for Brilliant Fusion. Uh, we activate Brilliant Fusion, we go ahead and send Lazuli, and we send, because the monster, the target we have is Aqua type monster. Aqua type monster is our crab. So we send Lazuli, our crab. We don't really care about him. Like, unlike Seraphonite, we don't care about him on the field. Uh, he's just gonna sit there and be fucking useless, really, because he's level 7. He's not even level 8. If he's level 8, then, oh yeah, no, he's level 7. And then the Zulu go off when this card is sent together by a card effect. You get to add a normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. So you get to add your searcher. So you use this card, send this, send this. This will add you back to your crab, which is your searcher. So pretty good, pretty good play. But then I also add it into effect veilers. That way I can go into Seraphonite because as you know, the additional normal summon is really powerful, but it can be really powerful for Gemini monsters, especially when I don't get my spark field. So I was like, well, we can we already have the gem knights, so let's go ahead and throw in some light monsters. Sure, why not? Two effect veilers. So um, effect veiler is great. It's fine to draw and I can use it if I draw it, but then also I can go Brilliant Fusion, send this, send the effect veiler, summon Seraphonite, and then Seraphonite can sit there and give me double normal summon. So that's why it's there as well. Alright. And that's all the monsters, 18 monsters, so. Uh, let's move on to the spells, which you see a shit ton of them. Uh, so much that you could probably run Summoner Monk, but what is Summoner Monk really gonna summon? There's not there's not any four plays in here, so. There's no four play in this deck, people, alright? No four play. Uh, we run triple terraforming for our triple spark field. Spark fields are important. Not only do you get to normal summon a level five or hybrid Gemini monster uh, without tributing, which is great. So you get to summon him and get to summon him without tributing. But then also you can uh, have that monster during your main phase. You can normal summon one Gemini monster in addition to your normal summon to gain your effect. So that's pretty good as well. So you can literally, if your opponent like set a whole bunch of back row, and you know you could just go spark field, summon you know summon my dark storm dragon, get my effect. Darkstorm Dragon, once per turn I can send one face up spell or trap I control to the graveyard to destroy all spell traps on the field. So I, I send to get a heavy storm, and you see there's no background, so I don't really have to worry about wiping my own shit, I'm just gonna wipe your shit. Um, and then that third effect too, like all three effects are great. Uh, once per turn I can target one card my opponent controls, banish one Gemini monster I control to, uh, that is treated as an effect monster, so it has to be a Gemini and have its effect, uh, its effect. To the end phase of my opponent's turn to pop that card, so. Pretty much, I pop one of your cards by banishing a monster that temporarily get backside plus one on you, so it's pretty good. Like I said, my luck was just bad, like sometimes I would never get the, the spark field to rip. Uh, we run Triple Swing of Memories. We send a lot of monsters to the graveyard with crab, but we send like these level eight monsters to the graveyard and then just swing the memory them right back for, you know, either going for OTK or rank eight play or Gemini summoning them for their effect, but it's all good. Triple Stone Twister, pop that backer, obviously. Brain Fusion, Triple Brain Fusion, we already went through that, so like I said. Uh, generally, when I play Brain Fusion, I play two of the Gemini's, and I mean, I was even drawing like two Lazuli before I drew. I would draw like two Lazuli in my opening hand and never get the Brain Fusion, or it was just bad. More luck is fucking terrible. Triple trade in, like I said, we have eight targets. Uh, you generally want to trade this thing if you don't if you don't have to. You know, if you sure trade it in, sure trade it in. But you know, if you can do that play with this and this and your Gemini in your uh, chemical beast, then that's great as well. Uh, two unleash your power. Uh, I decided to go with unleash your power instead of uh, supervise because. Uh, Supervise would only help one monster, while this would get all my monsters. And there's been a handful of times where I have like the crab, and then I have the ox, and then I have like the dark storm dragon on the field. So I'm just like, unleash your power, all you gain your effects. And there's actually pretty good if I have nothing to hit with spark field, and I have my crab, you know, I'll go like spark field, summon crab, because I still want to get my search, but then I have nothing to banish the pop. I can, you know, go unleash your power, have my crab gain its effect, get the search, and then it will be set during the end phase. So this is pretty good. It's better than leaving attack mode, 700 crack. I mean, come on. Uh, I was running at three, but I dropped it down two because it was getting kind of cloggy. It's one of the cards that actually moved. This was at three, and I dropped this down two because it was cloggy. This was at three, and I dropped this down two. It's cloggy. Put the two effect failures in. Uh, Regeki, blowout card, and also to prevent me from dueling in OCG, and then one up Star Goblin because uh, that seeing that next card, I mean, it's so good. It's so good. Um, you, which possible changes you could do if you don't want to do this, if you think that these trade ins is enough for the six and you don't want to do display, uh, you could possibly throw in them two maxis. Uh, this deck loves to go second, always go second, so Maxi going second while it's less than 25% now of you opening up with it, it's better than nothing. Uh, triple Stardust for the triple uh, Malefic Stardust, and so we run one Amethyst for the search play, one Seraphonite for the double summon play, uh, we run two Super Chemical Beast uh, Methane Hide, I think I summoned him once the entire time that it's been on Daily Duels this last month, so uh, it's just... When you can summon, you already have to have the Gemini monster in your graveyard to summon, to summon that Gemini. It's not like you detach. So, 
uh, that's kind of rip. So you have to get your uh, your Gemini monster jar already set up in a graveyard. Uh, your while well, there's card XC materials, your opponent can't target Gemini monsters you control for attacks in Gemini. So uh, Gemini monsters you control for the attacks or card effects. So that's pretty nice. So if you have those Gemini monsters, and it's made with two level eight Gemini, so I can't even make this with this, unlike the other rank eights that I can do. And uh, when a Gemini monster you control is normal summoned, including normal summon for the effect, you can attach a Q material to make your opponent send a card from your hand and fill to the graveyard at their choice. But it's kind of like uh, like towers. The tower is just like you send the card, you take the neck for me just doing my plays. Uh, the stats are fine 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, but it wasn't the one that I went into the most. <coughs> uh, uh, let's skip over this. Um, let's go over here. So, the ones that I definitely went over most we got a uh, Cypher Dragon and we got uh, Prime Photon Dragon. So, these are the rank 8s that you would go into. Maybe if you want to use their effect, I mean, this guy can get a really strong attack up or something that you need to. This guy can snatch something up and you can slap something on top of it if it's a Q monster or move it out of the way. But no, what these fail for is for this, because then you can go into full armor, slap a full armor, detach, pop a, a, a face up card, and then after that, you can slap on Cypher Blade and then detach and then pop a card on the field. So, uh, usually you neg with your XCs, but, you know, we're going to be even out resources because I'm going to neg on my XC play, but I'm going to go into this and pop one of your cards, which means that you're losing your charges. I'm going to go into this and pop one of your cards, which means that we even out with resources, and I get a 3200 PW. It's kind of like I'm taking a 4000 attack monster, I'm dropping down 32, I at least I get to pop a card. Like, this has to be face-up cards, this could be any card. So, it's still targets, still targets, but it's still good. And then the Felgrand and the hope you know these are also eights that you can go into that are really good uh i definitely say that there should, there should probably be a rank two in here because if you open up shittily and you don't have any of the higher level gemini monsters you can do this to summon the crab and then you know there's a two level two monsters you can go into rank two play um but i don't think it ever it, i think it came up once but as you can clearly see you don't have room so that's the problem with the mother size when that takes three right there the burning fusion takes room right there this takes room these this combo takes room like you could probably do like one of each but i'd say more often than not the rank eight play that i went into is this combo right here so <clears throat> this seems like it's more prevalent than uh this which i only did once so maybe you can only do one but i mean it's one of the major focus points of the deck um you can debate that you probably don't need the Felbrand, but I think Felbrand is really nice, and Hope is fine as well. So, uh, if you want to go ahead and take the deck, make some changes, upgrade it, do whatever, but uh, overall, it's just, when it worked, it was awesome, it was fun, but when it didn't work, holy crap, it was bad, you know, and you need the spark field, you need it, you have to run the triple terraforming, even though it's three for three, it's bad, I know there's no chicken game to fill in that last spot, but you, you need it, you need it, you definitely need it. Alright people, so there is the deck profile for Chemical Beast, like I said, the deck taking its place, Ancient Gears, uh, the first video uh, for the next upcoming month of Ancient Gears on Friday is already up, so make sure that you watch that. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, oh, we're done, we're done with the deck profiles, I will see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels, no more deck profiles for a while, but uh, I still hope that you guys will enjoy, despite that. Alright people, thanks for watching.